Hey, this is Brian Jacobs, PGA and Chief Fun Officer for Brian Jacobs Golf. And man, are we going to have fun today. So I've got a little seven iron in my hand and I've got an impact bag. Most of you have seen these before. Um, they're full of something soft. Please don't put bricks or rocks in these so that they don't move. The whole idea of these bags is to uh, be able to mimic impact. So this is a little game that I call spin the bag. It's something sometimes that I do in an assessment. I say like, well, let's imagine that this is a big golf ball. Now, if golf balls were this big, how good would we be? The only problem is, is that the professionals that would be hitting these bags would be just as good as they are. So we would still be where we're at unless we can get better. So if I take my seven iron and I swing back and I spin the bag that way, all of us should be going slice, the ball's going the opposite way. If I bring the bag back and say, well, how am I going to change that? The, the club must have come in this way to spin it that way. So for me to spin it the other way, I've got to direct the club a little bit differently. So this is helping you understand curve of the golf ball, your path, and also the relationship of the face to the path of the club. So these impact bags are really awesome for uh, training. And so what I would have you do is I would maybe have you do something called a sandwich drill where I would hit two from the inside into out. I would have you hit one the opposite way and then two more from the inside and start to train that pattern of, of creating a hook or, or curve from right to left on the golf ball for a right hander. So if you need more help, visit brianjacobsgolf.com. I would sign up for a new student assessment. Let's look at your critical error and how you spin the bag and then let's work it down to a golf ball and make you better and create lower scores.